I guess now there's a little bit of breathing room for me to get into a lighter topic of conversation, which is uh, cinema. At least for me, that's a lighter topic of conversation. Um, in particular, there is there's like a, a, a kind of a rift between um, American cinema and like Hong Kong cinema. If you guys know what I'm talking about. Fuck it, why not? Uh, particularly like Hollywood. Not to say like indie American cinema. But, um, you know, the more mainstream American movies tend to be so much more produced and sort of almost absent of artistic value, I would say. You know, you think about your average Hollywood blockbuster and how it doesn't really bring that much new to the table. With, with rare exception. Um, meanwhile, Hong Kong cinema, you have, you have much more in the way of, like, at least attempted, uh, expression. It seems like there's, there's much more of a, um, uh, small, uh, a cohort of auteurs in, in, uh, in, uh, in Hong Kong than in the United States. And what that means is basically a fancy way to, of, of, uh, saying that it seems like a lot of, uh, American movies are not really made by anybody in particular. They're not like somebody had a vision and they set out to like see it through and all that. And then, you know, you can very, very easily tell that this is their work, you know, and they spent a lot of time and effort on it or whatever. Um, more so it's like, you can tell like, oh, this was really a studio thing. And you know, all the, the, the people wanted to get their bonuses and that sort of stuff. And it might be a good movie, but it's, you know, Sometimes it, like, loses the individuality that a movie might otherwise have. Um, I think that's a... That's something that that, that we need to, uh... We need to have a little bit more of in, uh, in the United States, is, like... You know, in Hong Kong, you got Jackie Chan, you got Johnny Yen... Uh, Johnny Yen. Donnie Yen, you got Jet Li. But in the United States, you don't really have an equivalent. There is no, like, American... Donnie Yen or uh, like Jackie Chan. It's just Donnie Yen and Jackie Chan, right? Like even the big names here, like Spielberg, he's known for blockbuster stuff. You know, things that aren't aren't particularly high-minded artistic or anything like that. You know, and. Is this me being a, a snob? I don't know, maybe a little bit. But I also think it's important for anywhere that has like a thriving film industry to additionally have, have um, as part of that film industry, like very clear uh, artistic voices and artistic expression. The more the better, of course. But it just seems like America doesn't have that because we're so obsessed with like the safe, on-brand, profitable uh, option, you know? And I say we, what I really mean is, like, businesses are obsessed with that. What else do I have on the list? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. I have a, a video on the on the back burner about uh, auteurs, like, in, in, in movies the movie industry and all that uh and how like there's not that many of them in america unfortunately uh but there is one there is one that i feel like i should name uh and that is matthew vaughn uh because his style is so distinct from from other uh directors in 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 the u.s like in hollywood and you can so easily tell that a movie is his movie. Um, I think it's warranted to call him like a true author of of film. You know, but again, it's 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 super rare because the studios and the executives almost never let directors have that kind of uh, uh, control over the over the direction of the movie. Um, and to to give an example of what I think makes uh, Matthew Vaughn a um, 
an author is that he, he does something that nobody else does, which is a, like almost non-serious use of, uh, of shaky cam, and it's not even real uh, shaky cam. So, The Kingsman is, is one movie um, where, where he does this, this signature technique where he, he'll have his team uh, film uh, an action uh, sequence, right? Like, the, he did it with the, with the church fight. Uh, and, you know, it's not an actual one-take uh, fight. It's, there's, there's several hidden cuts. Um, but the fact that it feels so smooth is partly because of that and partly because... Um, the, the, the way they do camera uh, camera work is not like shaky cam shaky cam um, they, the, the camera is like really steady for the whole uh, time that they're they're filming uh, mostly and then in post they go and add the shaking effects like the, the shaky cam is added in the editing stage so that they can have the, the control over whether or not they want uh, certain moments to feel a certain way, and I think that's super cool and super like underrated as as a means of cinematography. Um, he did it in Golden Circle as well, like the sequel to that movie. Um, but he's he's like the only director who does that in his movies, and I think that's 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 uh, warrants the status of author, auteur, very pretentious word, but yeah. He also uses uh, upbeat, uh, punchy, like kind of rock music for um, for fight sequences in a, in a way that a lot of other directors don't. Like he used Freebird for the, the, the church fight scene in, uh, in, in the Kingsman movie. Which is supposed to be a, like, oh shit, we might lose moment. It's supposed to be like the, oh no, th you know, things are starting to go south. But uh, it, it just feels so satisfying to watch. Such a cool scene. Because it has that music, it, it's like... It is chaos at its most entertaining and, like... And, and you and it was meant to be that way like it's supposed to be that way there's no guilt in you watching it and be like holy shit that's awesome even though you can recognize and you're supposed to recognize that like oh that's bad like this part of the film th this is clearly a bad thing that's happening but it's not real it's a movie it's it's an adaptation of a comic book as well so it fits you know won't you fly free bird yeah <laughs> Meanwhile, this like super bespoke, well dressed British like secret spy is beating up American yahoos attending the fucking like <laughs> Baptist Church of We Hate the Gays or whatever.